What is up? Welcome back, Frog fam and friends, to another episode of Market Flow, hosted by Mean Mode and powered by Thor. Apparently, you look at Twitter, we are not just back. We are so back. We are fucking so back. We have broke. We are taking off, right? You know, my, my favorite Twitter influencer told me that once we once we break this level here, that, that we're just going straight to the fucking moon, sending to Valhalla. Um, I'd like to uh, maybe think that'd be great, but I disagree. Why? Remember, we said this was the first low that Bitcoin has established in this giant bull flag, right? And we did break out and reach the higher high. Another thing that was kind of significant, a lot of people thought this was going to be the high. I thought we were going to pump and establish the high here. But another thing that was significant, this right here was the first time we've gone bullish through a weekend. So not only uh, did we break a key level, but we broke a key level pumping through a weekend, which we have not done yet, establishing the higher high for Bitcoin, higher low, higher high, indicating a higher low. Uh, I think we got good opportunity at entry buying here on the higher low at 60K. And I think when wherever we establish this next higher low, that's when we're going to break and take off. I don't think we are just, you know, the fact that we've got the, the golden cross and found support, I don't think we're going to take off just yet. I think market makers are going to play, play the week one more time. They're going to liquidate some leverage. They're going to get some people to open up shorts, and then they're going to send it. If we lose this 60K level, you know, ever since back here in, in March, we've said we had this fair value gap established at the end of February, and we said anywhere on top in the 56 range and anywhere in the bottom of this fair value gap at the 52 range, great dca levels and maybe some of the best dcas we'll get for this bull run that has proven true thus far another thing that makes this really interesting right now thor has just printed calls here at 56 and has printed a call here down in the 52. so showing our dca levels are significant what we've been looking at is significant just another indicator that we're looking at the market in the right way. And if we lose this 60 level, I do see us capitulating down here to the 56. Once again, as we've been saying since March, this could be one of your best DC entries for the rest of this bull run. It looks like we are breaking out of this bear flag, right? We got the higher, the, the higher low, higher high. Let's see if we can hold the higher low and send from there we uh you know keep keep an eye on thor we'll go back to bitcoin here keep an eye on thor uh you see the levels that we have of invalidation 72 72 72 69 5 so we know there's a lot of key levels right here which is at the last top, that's at 69.5. And right here at the pink line, that's 72. So if we break up, we do get some support. These lower levels and even the higher level uh, entries for long calls from Thor become invalidated. So keep an eye on that. I do see a retrace incoming, though. A lot of people think we're just sending, you know, we're so back. While I do believe we have the indicators that we need to show the bull market is, is coming back and show the momentum and the metrics that we need. Guys, BlackRock is more Buck. on the daily than is being printed, right? More Bitcoin is being bought by BlackRock on the daily than is being mined. That, that alone tells you momentum shift is incoming. Moving on to Solana. <clears throat> Solana was a little bit different with the layer ones and the fact that we didn't get the first higher high, right? We got the higher low, lower high, and now we're reaching up into that higher high territory. 
Once again, we're going to look for the higher low for our entry. We are currently in a Thor short, right? This Thor short call right here, uh, we're actually still in entry zone at this current moment. And we have a take profit point that happens to be right on the long term EMA and right in the bottom of our fair value gap. So look for us to come down, find support here near the 151, 150, support on the EMA, support in the fair value gap. And we still have another short up here. This short right here is pretty significant because if we pump through, this is going to give our break and our take profit is right here giving us the break and retest on top our fair value gap and uh, also on this uptrend support. So, you know, not financial advice, do your own research. If you're in the short, set your parameters, get ready to take profit, but you may also want to set a limit order for your shorts here. Frogs fuck Thor prints. Just pay attention to the levels uh, and what we're showing. We'll go back to Solana. As you can see, this is currently an active short. This is how easy trading can be with Cyber Frogs and Thor guys. You don't even need to go look at the charts. You don't need to know the levels. You just need to see what calls are coming up next. Go to the risk management tool. Enter the amount you are willing to risk and follow the parameters. You don't ever have to look at a chart. All you got to do is set limit orders. Looking at the chart now, and by the way, Thor does have Jupiter, but Jupiter is one we've been looking at for quite a while, and one we've been talking about. We've been waiting for exactly this. When are we going to get the break and the retest on some of these fair value gap levels? And it looks like we are now. Just like we took profit before, we knew that we took profit at 101 and 115. We knew we were going to sit, hit a little bit of resistance here. However, uh, long-term investment-wise, I'm not sure I'd be taking uh, profits on Jupiter right now. I think uh, there, there, there's a, a big leg to come, especially if this is the break and retest of the longer downtrend. Remember, if you're in the trade, no one goes broke by taking profits. And there's always a trade. But I think the time for investments is coming to an end, guys. I, th I think we're filling the lower levels. We're filling gaps. And uh, I think time for investments is coming to a close. Bull markets, it's all about leaving people behind. It's all about, you know, all of a sudden making a big breakout and leaving people now buying at a premium. That market makers need to induce a pump to, to make a new premium to have people to FOMO into. I think investment opportunities are coming to an end. Uh, and if you still don't want to use uh, Thor on the on the Cyber Frogs website, look at taptrade.io. Tap into the market. With automated contracts, automatically trading Sol and USD, automatically trading Jupiter and USD, bulk USD coming soon, more will be added. We have automated trading. We have trading that tells you exactly when to get in, when to get out. You can set your own risk parameters. And then, of course, we're here degen and looking at charts. We have trading shows five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you're not making money, you're not hanging out with frogs. Frogs fuck door prints. See y'all later.